Hi guys. It is a beautiful moonlit night here in the collapse of global industrial civilization. Here in the Point Lonesome Swamp. In deep in the oasis of freedom. So before I head over to Netflix and Oh yes, it is Wednesday, January 19th, 2022. So before I head over to Netflix, and while I'm thinking about Netflix, I highly recommend Dark Shadows. If you have not seen that, it falls apart at the very end, but except for the last 20 minutes, it's actually quite hilarious. But anyway, I'm not here. Well, I guess I am kind of here to talk about dark shadows before I head over to Netflix. So a couple of days ago, I mentioned this fellow named Rotor Tiller One. And when I mentioned this guy, we all know Rotor Tiller. He's one of the, you know, he's one of the echoes down here in the echo chamber of the Doomosphere. I described Rotor Tiller, I said he is not exactly a troll, but uh, I guess uh, he was upset by not being recognized as a troll. So we have a, the new face of Rotor Tiller showing himself here. Uh, and uh, apparently he did not appreciate not being labeled a troll, so we want to welcome the newest troll uh, here at Collapse Chronicles. I don't know whether I'm going to ban this uh, idiot from this channel or not. Haven't decided yet. Uh, anyway, so uh, <clears throat> this was his comment. Uh to my rant today. I guess he was talking about my anti-natalist comments I made about uh, people who have children being selfish, being the most selfish, self-important, narcissistic humans on the planet. Okay, take it away, Rotor Tiller. So we're going to go through his comments and my responses to them. <clears throat> Excellent title. You had me at denying, but let's give us childbirthers some credit. All right, we're going to give some childbirthers some credit. As one point always goes unmentioned, and a true reporter would be all over it. I did a quick check on how many births were planned pregnancies, and I, as I suspected... Just over one half are planned and 46% are unplanned. That's in the somewhat United States. Poor countries probably have a rate higher than 75%. This should be acknowledged in true reporting. And uh, I, I'm not going to debate his statistics. If anything, that, uh, that, if, if that is true, and it probably is, this is more reason than ever to support a worldwide sterilization campaign. Uh, anyway, so thank you, Rotor Teller, for even adding more ammunition to the fire of sterilizing the human race. Okay, now he gets on the offensive here. You're slicing your nuts at 21. What he is pointing out uh, is my decision at age 22 to take some responsibility for myself, uh, for my any unborn accidental children, uh, the women in my life, and most importantly, at the of the planet, you know, my decision at age 22 to get a vasectomy before I had any kids, which is, of course, the number one greatest decision I ever made in my entire life. Hands down. Anyway, 
that's what he's talking about is my decision at age 22 uh, had no effect on population growth at all. It appears it was not part of the solution any more than being a vegetarian and bragging how you saved all the animals. All the animals are about to die as well. And so I admit I did not uh, read the second part of the comment before I jumped in with my reply to, to that first comment. That was the single most pathetic attempt at gaslighting I have ever encountered. You must really be guilty about being a breeder. And then, of course, I read the second comment. For the record, I never tried to get anyone pregnant. My first youngin was birthed when I was 16. He is 44 now, one child, and is an engineer running the province's second largest water distribution system and is as clueless and guidable as they come. I think he means gullible, but I don't know. Okay, then I love this one. I have a daughter who just turned 38 and has given me five wonderful grandkids, although none of them live with her, and I have never met any of them. Sadly, too much trauma has left her only half functional, although a very good speaker, as was highlighted in her prison interview when she was doing time for trying to punch a cop while she was high on meth. Another daughter, uh, I guess this is his third child, uh, his third accidental child. Another daughter has a two-year-old. I don't want to be too attached to that one. I don't see good things in store for him. And if his mother's upbringing which I'm assuming he was brought up by Rotor Tiller, but I, more I get to know this man, probably Rotor Tiller had nothing to do with uh, that daughter's upbringing, is my guess. Uh, I, for him, and if his mother's upbringing is anything to go by, the die-off should happen sooner. Sorry to report, there might be others, and none of them were planned either. Uh, this, the, the, you know, guys, that, that might be the single most arrogant, the single most arrogant, self-important, just, I, I mean, despicable comment that 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 now on other places in uh the doomosphere you, you know uh that's day but for this channel that might rate as the single most cold-hearted despicable comment i have ever heard on uh on uh collapse chronicles and uh so then uh, well, I had 15 thumbs up to that was the single most pathetic attempt at gaslighting I have ever encountered. But now that I read his second comment, I commented back, thank you for explaining your pathetic attempt at gaslighting. I do not know how you do not blow your brains out carrying around the guilt you must be carrying around for doing that to your kids, grandchildren, and your planet. You sound like a walking Jerry Springer show. I have nothing but pity for you and all the swill your loins have spilled upon this earth. You are the poster child of the need for forced sterilization. But thank you for watching and commenting on my videos. 14 thumbs up.
This was his response to that comment. Uh, I honestly don't know if Rotor Tiller has the same meth addiction that his children have or not. All right. This is, this is his comment to that. What does not kill you makes you more accepting that everything around you has no meaning and feeling guilty is a good tool for religions and corporations to hold people to their standards and judgment for purpose of control, including your nationality, religion, politics, algorithms to repurpose your online training. Your feeling moral superiority when you question why I have not blown my brains out because of things in the past out of my control is disappointing. This is your values jumping into societal conviction and as I understand it, wants to make people hate each other. <clears throat> Funny thing is, I have had the most incredible life and will pursue personal fulfillment in our short remaining time. So I guess uh, Rotor Teller is getting out there and enjoying it while he still can, leaving behind, you know, this string of broken uh, lives behind him in his wake. Out of school at 15, so I guess he was a high school dropout at age 15 and a father of an unplanned child a year later, out of school at 15 and retired at 55, I divide my time between Canada and the Philippines. Don't hate me for having a great life. Hate your pending extinction. Notice how many ass kissers gave you a thumbs up when you questioned why I had not offed myself. That is herd mentality for you. I honestly don't know if uh, if uh, Rotor Tiller is officially an ALT or not. Judging by his, uh, you know, talking out his ass uh, about, you know, human extinction and whatnot in the next five to ten years, I think he is probably an ALT. Just guessing. All right. So this was my comment to that one. <clears throat> Rotor teller. Having two, quote, accidental children, sorry, I just could not help myself, was hardly, quote, out of your control. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Although it sounds like, uh, I, I guess, I counted three children and seven grandchildren in that con in that tally of illegitimate uh, kids that accidental kids that he has around, but of course he has no clue of how many children and grandchildren he has running around this planet. I know exactly how many children and grandchildren I have running around this planet. It is zero. You know, it is it is the people. Uh, you know, who have no clue how many children and grand, not only no clue, but obviously no concern whatsoever on any level. It is, it had nothing to do with him. He bears no responsibility, this man. Uh, and you ask why I am an anti natalist. Anyway. <clears throat> The ass kissers you mentioned were not referring to that part of my comment, and you know it. They were simply people with brains 
and I will assume enough morals and ethics and self-control to not overpopulate this planet with however many useless planet eaters you have inflicted upon the Earth with your pathetic little oops rationalization agreeing with my statement. You should be ashamed of yourself. Enjoy your life of fulfillment while your own grandchildren suffer for your willful lack of control and responsibility. My respect for you has gone down the toilet and I find you to be an embarrassment. P.S. My shrink mama always said that shame, guilt, and conscience were the three most unappreciated emotions on the planet, and the world would be a much better place if we all had a little more of all three as motivators of our behavior. Obviously, Rotor Tiller does not know the meaning of the words shame, guilt, or conscience. And I'm going to skip over. Uh, you can find the other comments. But I'm just going back and forth. So anyway, his comment to that was, he he, your quick, pointless righteousness is connected to a toilet. Sorry for embarrassing you. Hope you are not scarred too badly. My response you embarrass yourself. My only embarrassment is for you. I never realized in all these years how totally hopelessly clueless, not to mention how stone-hearted you are. I hope your children and grandchildren are not scarred too badly by having or not having such a low-rent paragon of humanity in their lives. So anyway, I'm awaiting to see what Rotor Tiller has to say uh, about that. Uh, hopefully, uh, <clears throat> Rotor Tiller will just uh, sign off of this channel because, you know, if this was elsewhere in, uh, in the Doomosphere, you know, this would be absolutely the kind of stuff. Uh, but th this is not a, you know, a debate is supposed to be a two-sided argument. Having a debate with a mental midget is not a debate. Uh, this, this guy has just turned into just another, uh, sorry, common troll. So, uh, anyway, uh, Rotor Teller, you have proved me wrong. Uh, up until today, I did not think you were a troll. I thought you wanted to have a debate, but I just see you are, you're, you're just pathetic. You're pathetic. Uh, uh, you're you're disgusting. I'm embarrassed for you. I have nothing but pity for you, your children, your grandchildren, uh, and I do not want this comment page uh, to become a debate forum for the idiocracy. So. Uh, you can either uh, do us all a favor and check out, or I will just uh, come by here and sweep out the garbage uh, that you are bringing uh, to uh, this discussion. And uh, like with most garbage, goodbye and good riddance, garbage in, garbage out. Bye, guys.